Are you anxious? Stressed? Mind racing? Do you have trouble sleeping? Are you looking for secrets to peace and a happier life? Join Spiway Jefferson, certified mindfulness practitioner and lawyer, dedicated to helping you learn to apply mindfulness meditation to the personal and professional challenges of everyday life. Harness the power of mindfulness meditation to live and work to your highest and best purpose, starting with just five minutes a day. Hello there and welcome to this month's Mindful in 5 guided meditation. My name is Spiwa Jefferson and this month we are practicing a technique known as labeling. This graphic illustrates the learning zone model originally developed by a psychologist and it has since been more broadly adapted. It shows how human beings exist psychologically in these three zones. In the comfort zone, Life is good. The sun is shining. In my upcoming Mindful in Five book, this is the season I call day. You have your daily work and life routines. You know what you're doing and you can do it in your sleep. You can perform well, set strong personal boundaries, rest, recharge and reflect. But staying there too long can prevent you from developing new skills and may even limit your career opportunities. It's why you get bored in a job you've been in for a long time if you've done nothing to shake things up or learn new information. The yellow zone is the learning zone. This might be the equivalent to the season of dawn in my upcoming book. Your existing skills and abilities are challenged, allowing you to learn and develop new ones. It can be intimidating or you can look at it as the zone of adventure where you get to be curious, ask questions, and take calculated risks. In this zone, you can master new skills. The red zone, the panic zone, is a damaging place to be. And in my book is the season called dark, as in the dark night. In the context of work, it's the zone where you move beyond both what you're familiar with and what you can reasonably be expected to learn. You're deeply stressed, completely overwhelmed, and likely to fail. In terms of life events, it's where catastrophic things happen, like the death of someone close to you or a job loss. Ideally, then, you want to spend your time moving between the comfort zone and the learning zone. Today, we're going to practice a technique that can increase your ability to introspect so you can be more intentional in moving among and resting in each of these zones. Now, set aside all your worries, all the things you have to do, all the things on your mind. There is nothing to do, nowhere to be. There is only now. So give yourself the luxury of that time just for you. In five, mindful in five steps, find your meditation spot. Sit in an ergonomically correct position. Position your arms comfortably. Close your eyes and just breathe. Position yourself while I'm explaining what we'll do today. We are going to use three labels in our meditation, thinking, feeling, and judging. When you have a stray thought, use the label thinking to identify it. Use the feeling label to label how you feel about something. And judging is the label when you have an opinion about something. Judging helps you identify and let go of judgments, thoughts more quickly. So for example, let's suppose that your mind drifts to the weather and you start thinking how hot it is. You would first label that thinking. Then you would add a label judging because you've made a judgment that the heat is bad. 
If you are outside feeling hot, you would label the thought feeling. If you subscribe to the Mindful in 5 weekly emails, you know that it comes in two flavors, the classic, exi- uh, the classic edition, which takes a secular approach, and the God Lovers edition. God Lovers, start your meditation with a prayer, speak to God in the language of your heart, and invite him into your meditation space. If you are a member of Team Classic, start by stilling your body and mind. You can express gratitude for this moment or anything that is on your heart. So let's give labeling a try and begin our meditation. Close your eyes. When you first start practicing meditation, it's helpful to set your alarm clock. So I'm going to set my alarm for five minutes starting now. We'll begin with some moments of silence so you can settle yourself, say a prayer if you're a God lover, and set your intentions for this meditation. There is nothing to do, nowhere to be, there is only now. Take the next few moments of silence to just get yourself settled. Next, we'll do a tension exercise. When you inhale, I want you to tense every muscle in your body that you can identify. From your toes, up your feet, calves, thighs, abdomen, back, arms, ball up your fists, tense your neck, and screw up your face. Tense everything. And then we're going to hold that for a little bit. And then when you exhale, release all of that tension for your body, kind of like visualize yourself like a drain, draining all that tension out of your body, down, 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 and out through your toes. Let's do it now. Inhale and tense everything. Hold it. Exhale. One more time. Inhale and tense. Hold it. Exhale. One more time. Inhale and tense. Hold it. Exhale. You should be feeling more relaxed. Now let's take a few slow, deep breaths. And as you inhale, visualize yourself inhaling the good things that you want. Peace, confidence, and love. No tension this time. And when you exhale, exhale all the things you want to be out of your system. Anger, anxiety, fear, frustration. Just exhale and let all those things go. In the next few moments of silence, try to focus on just inhaling the good things that you want and exhaling all the negativity you don't. As stray thoughts drift in, and they will, give them a primary and secondary label. Thinking, feeling, judging, Let them float on by like clouds in the sky. Then guide your thoughts back to the breath. Thinking, feeling, judging. 
give every stray thought at least one, no more than two labels, and just let it go. Let it float on by like a cloud in the sky. It's normal for your thoughts to stray as you're trying to watch your breath. Don't get frustrated. Just label each thought and let it go. And then guide your thoughts back to your breath. Now open your eyes. Our brains are wired to judge everything from how things taste and sound to what you did five minutes ago. Labeling allows you to separate yourself from your thoughts, feelings, and judgments and be more intentional about what you act on. It allows you to see things more clearly for what they are without clouding them with your judgment. You are not your thoughts. You are not your feelings and you are not your judgments. Once you can see that your higher consciousness is not any of these things, you can be more intentional about which of your thoughts, feelings and judgments you accept, which you question and question who put them there, and perhaps even change when presented with evidence that they are false. Spend time this month practicing labeling. If you've enjoyed this meditation, leave a rating from mindfulin5.com on the rating site trustpilot.com and share this meditation with a friend. Until next time, this is Biwe saying, be mindful and be well. Thank you for listening to Mindful in 5. Join the Mindful in 5 community at www.mindfulin5.com to sign up for the weekly companion emails to this podcast, which include a new guided meditation each month and five-day, five-minute meditations to supercharge your journey towards inner peace and success. Visit the Instagram page at Mindful in 5 or the Facebook page at Speedway Publications. Until next time, be mindful and be well.